Okay, so when I'm using the closure, I like to just use one layer. I don't need to put two or three layers. Um, one layer usually works for me, but again, that's absolutely optional. I don't use a wig pack underneath it either. I just wait for it to be dry, then I stretch it out. The more stretched out it is, the more realistic it will look. And then I kind of just press it down. I'm just gonna get my mirror just to make sure it's looking right because in the camera it's looking all juicy and all whatnot but uh, I need to double check it so there we go okay guys so now I'm going to show you guys a little trick I like to do before I like to basically um, hold, no, just hold it down basically use the scarf to really melt the lace let's just use those terms uh, so I'm gonna go I'm going to get my face powder it's a similar color to my skin tone and then I'm just gonna brush it just a bit over the lace the lace at the moment is really really like I would say natural you can, like it's very like skin like but I just want to make it a bit more perfect get that extreme melted look and I'm gonna show you how I do that NC55 Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. This is my color. Use a color that is very close to your skin tone. If anything, use if you can't find anything that's close to your skin tone, I would suggest you use rather a lighter than a darker. You don't want the lace ever, ever, ever to look darker than your skin color. You'd rather want it to look lighter because your scalp usually is lighter than your skin color. You can see it's widened up the part in it's just gonna help this be really, like give you that melt look and it's just gonna help the powder to set a bit as well and look a bit look look a bit more natural before you put your head scar so that would be the got to be spray or oh, just a little bit you don't want to spray too much in as you can see that really just like sets the closure leave this on for like 10 to 15 minutes and then I use this time to just do whatever I need to do and then I come back onto it I would say the longer you leave this on the better the melt and the longer your lace frontal or your lace closure will last like see it's sleek 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 and I literally didn't even do, like, I didn't even sit in the hairdryer, I didn't use heat, nothing. I literally just walked around the house, trying to find something to eat for 15 minutes, and I couldn't find anything. And I don't want to go to Asda, because who's going to stand for an hour in the queue? Like, I'm tired of doing that. So, yeah. Alright, so I've curled all of this, and now we're, gonna, we're going to curl the rest. Yo, I can't get over how sleek 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 snatched melted this closure is I mean hey so to curl my hair I'm using the if you want to know where you can get this from comment down below comment down below and I'll tell you where you can get this curling one from I absolutely love this curling one you can get so many different hairstyles out of it it gets so hot and it does the trick especially from short to medium length hair if you're someone that likes to rock short to medium length hair and you're looking for the right wand of curling tongue i think it's a curling tongue to curl your hair drop me a comment down below and i'll tell you where to get it from so the trick when curling your hair is always to curl away from your face I always get clients asking me like, oh my God, I can never really curl my hair the way you curl my hair. How do you curl your hair? How do you get it to look like that? The main thing is to always and always, always, the main rule is to basically curl away from your face. And if you're using like a curling um, tongue with a clip like this, you want to make sure the clip is always facing towards you. And then obviously away, you roll it away from your head. So we go on to the next sections. How hot this one gets here. So literally, like I'm just well tongue. Why do I keep saying one? Anyway, this hair tongue. So literally I just roll it up, leave it in for like about a minute or so, 
and I just drop it and look at that. The curl is just there. I love it. Gonna be upwards, and then I let it sit here for a bit because I want to create height. When you leave the tongue here, here, that means you're creating height at the roots. Just creating a bit of volume. You see, this is raised up. That's how you get the raised look, which I rise. You can back comb it. That's an alternative way of doing it, but. I like to just do it like this today. Because these nails are so tragic. These nails are so tragic. I need this lockdown to be over. <sighs> it's a lot. Like seriously, it's a lot. So now I'm gonna use my favorite brush. You guys have seen me using this brush. It's the Denman brush. And the reason why I like to use this brush because it's like you can loosen your curls without fully getting rid of the curls and it gives you that bouncy look as well. So if you're looking for like a bouncy wave kind of hairstyle look, this is your best friend. So you just start from your, the root of your hair and you slightly just bring it down. Do you see what I mean? It just gives you that bouncy kind of look. And I'm just doing that all over. The front we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna brush it backwards. So you wanna kinda like set the hair how you want it to be yeah so I want it like a bit like that this is basically it's a very glamorous like updo and you can see the hair is really nice and bouncy so yeah I absolutely, absolutely love it I'm gonna add baby hair um because i just wanted to have like some nice baby hair look so it's nice and sleek it's my carry care wax stick you guys know i love 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 this wax stick so i'm going to use that to basically smooth the edge um the root of my hairstyle so that just helps it just gives the hair the root like a little bit of shine and it just smooths out the hair as well Make sure the hair is nice and flat and it just sits nicely. As you can see, it's already giving the hair like a bit of a lift. I'm going to select the baby hairs and I'm going to use my got to be ultra glued little baby hair brush. I like thick baby hair, so with this style, I'm doing the thick baby hair style. So if you think, oh, why is a baby hair so thick? That is the look that I'm going for. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys are gonna recreate this look, make sure you tag me, comment down below, let me know how it goes. Again, if you would like to know what one curling tongue, Jesus, what curling tongue I used to create this look, comment down below and I'll give you all the juice. You know what I mean? Ooh. So yeah, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going to the kitchen. I'm going to the bedroom, I'm going to the living room, then I'm going to the bathroom, I'm going to the hallway. Hey. Yeah, so that's where I'm going. 
Bye. Later. Deuces.